is day 10 of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 64 kilometer long Russian military convoy is moving towards the capital city of Ukraine with each passing hour. Furious and frustrated Putin has been draining hundreds of missiles and artillery on key Ukrainian cities in a bid to make significant gains. According to Zelensky government, 47 people were killed in Russian airstrikes which took place in residential areas of uh, Chernihiv city of Ukraine, a school in Zaitomir was also hit by a Russian rocket on Friday, according to Ukraine's President Zelensky. Zelensky has also condemned NATO's decision to reject Ukraine's call for declaring its skies a no-fly zone. Criticizing the decision, Zelensky said that the decision will give Russia a green light to continue bombing. Ukraine President Zelensky has continued his appeal to support his country. In a televised speech, Zelensky said that if Ukraine falls, Europe will not survive, and if Ukraine wins, it will be a victory for the entire Europe. I would like to call upon you not to be silent. I would like you to come out on the streets and support Ukraine, support our efforts and support our fight. Because if Ukraine will not stand, Europe will not stand. If we will fall, you will fall. So please don't be silent. Do not turn the blind eye on this. Come out and support Ukraine as much as you can. And if we win, and I'm sure we win, this will be the victory for the whole democratic world. This will be the victory of our freedom. This will be the victory of light over darkness, of freedom over slavery. And if we win, we will become as blossoming as Europe, and Europe will be flourishing more than ever after this magnificent victory. Glory to Ukraine. I'm right now here in the center of Kyiv. You can see the whole Freedom Square completely all over, all the buildings here. And this is the ninth day of the war, and there is air raid siren going on. It's a routine here now. We have got used to it. It goes off every time, almost every day. And today there were a lot of explosions, almost 30 of them. This is the highest number of explosions we have experienced in this war so far in the city of Kyiv. And the signal, this air raid signal is an indication probably another barrage of bombs is going to fall in the city or the outskirts of the city. The nearest one I experienced in the center was just about probably three kilometers from the city center. This is Rajesh Pawar reporting for India Today in, from Independence Square in Kyiv. The war of wars between the two neighboring states heads uh, continues to escalate over the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russian president has asked Ukraine not to escalate tensions or introduce any restrictions. Vladimir Putin said that actions taken by Russian troops are always in response to some unfriendly actions. He also warned that Russia's neighbors could not escalate tensions. This comes after Ukrainian President Zelensky demanded tougher sanctions on Russia over the attack on nuclear facility. Zelensky alleged that the attack could have been six times worse than the Chernobyl 1986 disaster. Meanwhile, Russia vehemently denied shelling at the nuclear facility calling the reports untrue. And I would also advise them not to escalate the situation, not to introduce any restrictions. We fulfill all our obligations and will continue to fulfill them. We don't see any necessity to escalate the situation and worsen our relations. All our actions, if they're taken, are taken exclusively as a response to unfriendly actions towards the Russian Federation. I think everyone should consider normalizing relations and cooperate normally.